team went through a lot of changes in the backcourt, guys moving in and out of different roles at the point and wing and stuff like that. Do you see any similarities to the way this team's kind of trying to find the right pieces to fit those positions and, and trying to different combinations? Yeah, um, I mean, specifically with this team, it's a lot of new guys and even the older guys um, were assuming new roles that we didn't have in the previous teams. And, um, you know, it's a process. Sometimes it takes longer than, um, say, a team with John and, um, you know, Zoobs and them because we knew who, how people played. And, um, you know, we're finding out things about ourselves this year, and um, we just got to keep working on it. Well, statistically, you guys defensively aren't very strong as past Duke teams. Uh, is that something that you guys are aware of? Does it bother you? Do you think you're playing good defense? Or, or how do you feel about the defense right now? No, um, we're definitely aware of it, and it does bother us. Um, that's something that no Duke team, um, it's just not what Duke teams do. And um, we're trying to fix that and uh, adjusting how we play defense, um, starting with the perimeter and then how we help as bigs. And um, that's something we have to change going forward. Some of the guys have talked about building a trust with each other or maybe maybe you can pressure and know that the guy behind you will protect the rim. How have you guys tried to develop that? It sounds like you guys are trying to be more encouraging of each other. You guys are trying to kind of get closer a little bit. Is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's, that's definitely true. Um, you know, guys, we're really close off the court and everything, but um, developing that closeness on the court is something that, uh, unfortunately, sometimes you have to go through some hard things uh, to really develop. And that loss at Temple was, um, it was tough for us. And, uh, you know, coming back and practicing and trying to figure out where we're at as a team is difficult as well. And um, that has brought us closer together. I think we're building on that and um, we're heading in the right direction. You guys have now had three different starting point guards. From a forwards perspective, how does your game change depending on the style of point guard that you're, you know, that's playing with you? Um, you definitely have to recognize uh, the talents that each type of point guard brings. Um, most recently with Quinn, uh, as bigs, we have to be a little more aware. Um, it's fun playing with him because he really likes to pass. He's smaller, so when he gets somewhere, he's really looking to dish to us. And um, it's just something you know we work on as bigs with Wojo, uh, just recognizing the different the differences. Uh, being a senior after that loss to Temple, did you feel like you needed to step up and take a role on this team? And were you challenged to do that and that kind of thing? Yeah, um, I've challenged myself. Honestly, I don't think I've done as good a job as uh, I had hoped looking back at the first half of the season. Um, just kind of instilling, you know, the Duke tradition, what our program's all about and the younger guys. And, um, you know, we got away with how we were playing, how well we were doing in the first half. But... Um, it's been a wake-up call, and uh, I just really want to, you know, it's my last year. I have half a season left, and um, I want to leave my mark on the program and the guys that are going to be playing in the next few years. It doesn't seem like this team has that overly vocal guy. I mean, has that been a tough adjustment for this group? And, I mean, do you feel like you need to, you or someone else has to be a lot more vocal? Or just... Yeah, um, I think guys have had to step outside their comfort zones, me especially. I mean, coming in as a freshman, I didn't talk at all. But um, I'm really comfortable now, you know, talking to my teammates. And uh, a lot of times it may, be, may, may not be shown as much on the court, but on the bench, halftime, speaking up, um, just taking command of the team. And it's, and it's not just me, it's other guys on the, on the team who have been here, the juniors. They have a lot of experience and um, things to share with the rest of the team. So people are just becoming more confident in um, knowing what they feel at the moment and then expressing that to one another.